Hey guys, welcome to episode number two of Pokemon Heart Gold. <laughs> I made it. I forgot about one thing. There's a token for me. Take it. The guide again gave you the map card for your Poke Gear. So now we have the town map, essentially. Um, so yeah, in the last episode we got our Pokemon Adventure started, and I chose Cyndaquil to be my starter. And we've been going through tutorials ever since. So I apologize for the slowness of the first episode, and this episode as well. But um, after this, we should be able to get started on our adventure. Let's go ahead and collect this right here. It's a potion! Always good to have these. Alrighty. We have to go see Mr. Pokemon for uh, Professor Elm. Apparently there there's something that he needs to give Professor Elm that I'm going to deliver. Sound familiar? Because you do the exact same thing in Pokemon Red. Hey kiddo! How in the world can you be so oblivious of my eye-catching house? Hold it right there. Uh, I actually did look at your house. And the weird tree on it. When you follow the path up north, you will see Mr. Pokemon's house. Well, that's good information. But before you go, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. I really loved this about um, gold and silver back in the days. Because the fact that you can make a brand new Pokeball that's never been seen before, and they looked really cool too. We should be going into that like later in the game, where I'm going to bring this apricorn that I'm going to get from the tree next to this guy's house um, to a special person later in the game that's going to craft it into Pokeballs. And these Pokeballs have special properties based on the color that you get these apricorns in. Um, so yeah, we'll get into that later in the game, so let's continue through this route and get into random encounters and here we're going to see one of my favorite Pokemon, a Caterpie, believe it or not. I love Caterpie, especially its evolution. Butterfree, which, oh my god, I wouldn't mind having a Butterfree to play this game with, but I really haven't decided like what Pokemon I want on my party, so I guess that's part of the experience. I guess you kind of come up with a, a party as you go along. I don't like to have things planned out. It's not really my style. So, Cyndaquil's going to continue to grind on this Caterpie. Caterfee. It's a Caterfee. No, Caterfee. 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 Yeah. Oh my god. If, if you've watched a Pokemon spoof on YouTube, you'd get that reference. But uh, anyways, String Shot here just kind of is annoying because it lowers my speed stat, meaning that Cyndaquil won't be attacking first, so you'll be, see you'll be seeing a lot more of uh, String Shot as this fight keeps going. Another String Shot, but if Cyndaquil's able to hit this tackle attack, we should be able to defeat this Caterpie and get some much needed experience. There we go. Critical hit, even though it was not necessary. Caterpie fainted and Cynical uh, gained 22 experience points. Alright, another Caterpie going down should equal Cynical's level up. Level up. Another Pidgey, level 2. Eh, that should be an easy one. Go, Cynical. Alrighty, buddy. Tackle attack. Let's go. Dude, we really need to work on, on this tackling thing of yours. You're not that strong. I, I forget what, what level Cyndaquil learns Ember at, and I can't wait for him to learn a Fire-type move, because tackling really gets old. It really does. But, uh, three hits, I'm not gonna complain after that. And we have reached level 7. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Let's collect this thing. And it is an antidote. This cure is poison. But I don't see any chances of me getting poisoned right now. But that should be good for later on. Alright, if we keep going north up here and get into a random encounter again... Good god. Alright, it's a Pidgey. Again. Even though, even though random encounters do get repetitive, I am going to keep them in my videos. Because I believe that random encounters are part of the experience in a Pokemon game. I mean, just that not knowing what's gonna come out even though it is a Pokemon that you've seen a hundred times it's just every Pokemon um, experience is different I don't know I guess I'm weird that way so we have defeated the Pidgey and now we're gonna continue to travel up here you know I'm gonna take that back if if random encounters start getting obnoxiously like bad ooh, a Metapod that's the evolved form of Caterpie like I was saying if they get extremely bad because I know there's some cave portions in the game that random encounters can get bad. I will be buying repels to avoid that situation, but I will edit around the random encounters if they get really bad. 
So, uh, don't worry about that. Okay. Pidgey, meet Cyndaquil. Ooh, that's a level 4 Pidgey. Go and tackle it, Cyndaquil. Alrighty. Ew. Eh, that's not that bad. Cyndaquil's defense is really good. Aw, oh, yeah. What you got, Pidgey? I got a Cyndaquil that's that really wants to kill you right now. Darn it, and he misses. Every time you miss, Cyndaquil, why do you always miss? Oh my god, a sliver of health left. I'll be saying that a lot in this LP. The sliver! The sliver! Alrighty. 31 experience points. That was a lot, actually. Dang. We're almost level 8. Oh boy, apricorn. Hump a tree. And it is a pink apricorn. Yeah, you hump a tree to get the apricorns. Really weird. Alright, into Mr. Pokemon's house. You must be Jose! Okay. You sent P Professor M the email, we know this. And he's getting something from a shelf and walking slowly. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. You obtained the mystery egg. Okay. Interesting. It's a mystery. Okay. Can't find eggs in Johto. I thought a Professor Elm might be able to tell me what it is. He's the best when it comes to re research on Pokemon evolution. Oh, well, that's good to know. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. Okay. Yeah. He, he heals Cynical for us. So that's really cool. Oh man, nostalgia! Ah, and with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Jose. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Yes, I will. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? Uh, uh, okay. See, this is the latest version of a Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Oh, yeah. We just got our Pokedex from Professor Oak. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod City. Okay, for my usual radio show. Jose, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Count on it. Let's, uh, to, oh, let's exchange numbers. If only, you're, if only you did this to every person you met out in the, like, out in wilderness and in the cities and stuff like that. You just exchange numbers with random people. Alrighty. I don't know what my rant was. What? We got a call from Professor Elm. Hello, Jose. It's a disaster. Um, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? Uh, please get back here now. Okay. You, you might want to call the cops. Just, just saying. But anyway, we have to rush to uh, Professor Elm because apparently something's going on. That he needs to call a ten-year-old boy to. Uh, tell him, oh my God! Get back here. What? What the hell can a ten-year-old boy do with a Cyndaquil that's level seven? Oh well. The world may never know. Pidgey. You're going down, buddy. I'm going to reach level 8, and you're going to die. Oh! What's up? Critical hit. Is that a level up? No. Alrighty, let's keep going. Another random encounter. Alright. And it's a Caterpie level 3. Okay. Cyndaquil, let's make some quick work out of this Caterpie and not get hit by a million string shots. Come on, I know you can hit stronger than that. Darn it. We, we really gotta level up this Cyndaquil. If he can't take out these Caterpies, he, it, it, oh my god. Come on. Keep on tackling. Alright, one more tackle should do it, but now it seems that Caterpie will be going first next turn. Because I've been hit with two string shots. Yep, I was correct. And he does another string shot just for just for perfect measure. I don't even know why he does that instead of tackling me. But tackle attack does him in. Oh my god, if that didn't take him out, I would have been 
flip it out. Okay, that should equal level 8. Thank you very much. Pinnacle Reach, level 8. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. And onward we go to New Bark Town to see what the hell happened at the at the professor's lab. Do 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 do. Alrighty. Okay. Um, there's actually something that's gonna happen right now. Who the hell's this guy? You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. What? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, okay. We're going, we're going against some random dude. Awesome music, by the way. You're challenged by a passenger by boy. Okay, what that crap name is passenger by boy? Okay, whoa, he's got Totodile. Is that Professor Elm's Totodile? Oh, crap. Well, I'm going to start this off with a smoke screen. Lower, lower his accuracy a bit. Alrighty. Leer. Oh, crap. That lowers my defense stat. He's gonna, what, what this guy's going to try to do, he's going to try to lower my defensive stat and then hit me with one attack to try to one-hit KO me. That's why I'm hitting some uh, smoke screens when I, sh I honestly should be tackling because... And I just wanted to take a different perspective in this fight. So I did two smoke screens. And of course, the person that has low accuracy is me. Even though I'm the one that's lowering his accuracy with smoke screen. This is great. Alright, tackle attack, Cyndaquil. Let's go. Darn it, what the crap? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Tackle, come on. Ooh, two hits. Critical hit. Take it. Alrighty. Cyndaquil gains 70 experience points. A little bit shy of level 9, but awesome. <laughs> Are you happy you won? Actually, I am very happy. I'm ecstatic that I won in two hits. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Uh, okay. Later, jerk. Give me, give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh, no. You saw my name. What's the big deal? So I saw his name. Passenger by boy. God dang it. Okay. So that's essentially going to be our rival in the game. Um, we'll be getting the opportunity to name him after we uh, talk to Pref Professor Elm. So, yeah. Sentret. I do like Sentret. Sentret's a good Pokemon. All right, Cyndaquil. Time for us to wipe the floor with a run. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I don't really want to fight it right now. Gosh darn it! What the crap, uh, it, dude? Don't you get the hint? I don't want to fight you, Cyndaquil. Run. God, persistent much? Alrighty. And that's actually going to be the end of this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. Thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we're going to talk to Professor Ohm and see what the heck happened. See you guys then for more. Pokemon Heart Gold.